Aspen has lost a month of winter since 1980 and warmed about three degrees Fahrenheit. Snowmaking is going to increase because it's the only way to survive. Snowmaking is really important to our early season because there's a ton of people that want to ski. And Colorado usually starts getting really good natural snow like it's doing now sometime in December. And so we rely on snowmaking in that early part of November uh, just to kind of get things open, get a solid base, get people out and excited, and then bridge our way into the natural snowfall. Any of these western states are, are pretty pressed for water right now. Been going through a severe drought for the last couple uh, of decades, really, in the western U.S. And so every drop of water matters. Snowmaking has come a long way in the last few years and we've invested pretty heavily in a lot of new technology and that technology has been really incredible for us because they're a lot more efficient with energy, they're a lot more efficient with the water and we can get a little bit more aggressive with our run windows because the guns will turn themselves off when it gets too warm and we start to make rain. It really is just a short stopgap, you know, an adaptation strategy. In the end, what needs to happen is we have to get the fossil fuels turned off. And the quicker we get them turned off, the longer snowmaking may be a viable adaptation strategy.